So making a sticker transparent in CapCut is quite easy, but it's not really obvious as to how to do it efficiently. So first of all, we'll click on stickers and then select a sticker we want to use. So I'm doing a fast forward scene, so I'm going to use these double arrows here. So drag it down to the timeline. First thing to do is to size it and put it where we want. So I think I'll put it in a corner here. Then you need to go to adjustment and add in a custom adjustment. So you need to make this the same length as the sticker on the timeline. So I'll make it the same length as the clip I want to use it on. So make sure the adjustment layer and the sticker are the same length on the timeline. You might want to change the adjustment settings. So you can click on here if you want to change any of the settings, but I don't really want to because I think this is okay as it is. So once you've done that, you click on adjustment and then control and click on the sticker. Then both should be highlighted in white here. So what we need to do then is to right click and create compound clip. So now the sticker and the adjustment layer have disappeared and we have this compound clip here. So now with the compound clip, we need to click on it, sure it's selected and under video and then basic settings, scroll down until opacity is visible. It's probably 100% to start. So uh, make sure we're back on the timeline. So just change the opacity down to whatever you want. So maybe I'll have it on 50. So let's have a look at the clip. Okay, that looks okay. If you decide you don't want that sticker, you can actually right click on the compound clip and then undo compound clip. Then you'll see that we have the adjustment layer, which we haven't used, and the sticker is here. So you could easily replace it. And then all you have to do is control click on the adjustment layer and then turn it into create compound clip here. So that's a quick and easy way to change sticker transparency in CapCut. Hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching.